you know, I find it quite interesting that when it comes to black people talking about the racism, discrimination that they face abroad, white people are very quick to say, well, go back to your country then. And the crazy part is that white people can freakishly go wherever the hell they want to go. Any black country or non-black POC country live to the fullest, not experience discrimination, go there and have a nice vacation, or then you just decide to move in and stay there, and it's fine. Then why can't that same world be created for every other person? Why can you come to my country? I see white people in my country living comfortably. Nobody is telling them to go back to their countries. You come here and you make a living. You come here and you make a home. You come here and you make a career. I feel you bully. See, bros, me take time. Without one being so bad, I will change one for you. <laughs> See your face. Can I don't be smart, you know? Oh, you bully me today. Oh, you want to learn when you to rap me to ba. Good, good, good. Tell feedback on to rally me. No, Joe, give you your sir. My G. That's what I'm talking about, my man. I got you. That sounds good. Kill it. Hell yeah. That's what's up. Jesus, God will punish you. Ah! Where's it be? Ah! Oh, there no be Jesus. Ah, this Jesus. This idiot. Say now, like this Jesus, they do. Yeah? Jesus, where's the madman? Where run? You don't see for Bible where Jesus run from madman. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you tell me, say, make I go do the work like that. I tell you, say, the guy, they crazy. Come bite me. He can't bite you, so he can't run. If you spoil everything, he talk, he come out weak. You don't see Jesus come out weak before. You don't get it. Okay, sorry now. My friend, don't spoil this work for us. You live comfortably well. Nobody is harassing you. Nobody is being discriminative against you. Every year you are coming to Calabar Festival in Nigeria. The next year you come, you come with more friends. When the bed to the entire body, entire body. You are living just fine. And you don't think that's how the world is supposed to go for everybody. You don't think how you can come here, how you can go to Kenya. You are constantly going to Kenya, constantly going to visit South Africa. Constantly going to visit those beautiful places with black people, enjoying, having the privilege to be able to travel freely and enjoy. And then somehow black people cannot experience the same luxury. Stay in your country, we'll go back to Africa. You stupid. Very, very stupid. For today's video. Yeah, thanks, that's good. We'll wait for the explanation. Don't worry, son, you're doing well. You're doing well. You have to get you have to get used to this. This is part of being black and British. We get stopped every minute for just being black. So I'm sorry, you, you just have to get used to it. Are you serious? Yeah. Somebody No no, he's getting a bit annoyed. Just just don't worry, this is normal because they didn't find what they were looking for. No, no, just taking handcuffs off. Yeah, I know. You should have put the handcuffs on in the first place. It's, a, it's, a, it's, it's from slavery, it's the same kind of principle, embarrassing us. It's a 19 year old child. It's a 19 year old child. It takes four police officers. Have you really? Oh really? Okay. Some of our right to be there. Job, bro. So this was a very traumatizing situation that this young man was put in and then we have people in the comment section going on and on and on about how well he's 19 he's not a child like you missed the point like you missed the point you opened your eyes watched this video but you missed the point you are stupid for a moment here let's talk about how you are trying to gaslight the situation with the age of the boy there was so much going in that video that you could be talking about right now. Talking about how the boy was being harassed and embarrassed on the streets for no reason. Talking about how he was being racially profiled. But no, you don't want to talk about that, huh? Kitchen ants, you just don't want to. But like the kitchen ants that you are, you would rather gaslight. And talk about his age, not addressing the issue here. Okay, fine, he's not a child. That's how you think, he's not a child. Can we move on now and talk about how what is going on and how this is unfair and, and this is pure 
in broad daylight can we talk about that the injustice that's going on and i've noticed this madness online a lot of people will come when there's something serious going on and then they pick up something very little and then they use that little issue to gaslight the bigger picture that's going on because they do not want to address what exactly is going on you see it all the time in comment section the gaslighting association of the world comes into the comment section and then they pick on something sometimes they don't even pick on things that existed in the video they bring something else that is that has nothing absolutely nothing to do with the video and then they hammer on that and they would never talk about the issue at hand and it marvels me all the time in a very negative way i'm not marveled po positively here it's mind-blowing how people can continue to do this okay can we talk about the bigger picture here can we talk about the issue they are never interested in talking about the issue probably because they do not care because they are in denial or they are just stupid and yes his age as well is a problem because yes like we like to say how 18 year olds are adult 19 year olds are adults yeah technically on paper they are but really mentally how adultly are 18 19 year olds really let's talk about this for a moment and how come this whole narrative only affects black people when it's time to talk about the age of children and how they are children somehow a 20 year old white person can even be called a child this comment in response said 19 year old is not a child but when you are white it is same logic that allowed daniel roof to be called one but the nine black children they are youth so this is somewhat not really 100 percent related but somehow it is this comment right here made me remember a conversation I had with a friend of mine who lives in the UK and he was telling me about two um, football players or you call them soccer players so these players were like white and black so one was a white kid and then the other one was black and then they both did the exact same thing which was um, they both bought their mom a house but then when the papers carried the story the, the the weddings that were used were very different for both kids you can post to read fam like um the choice of words here it's insane so the black kid splashed basically making it seem like he wasted money i mean they freakishly both bought the exact same mansion guys i reached out to my friend and he sourced out this newsletter for me so the black guy splashed and then the white guy he buys a home for his mother it's <laughs> christ so many words for the black boy how detailed it was his age how much he earns weekly and then he splashed painting what a waster or what painting I don't know and then you painted this one with just very few wise nicely selected words carefully selected words to make him into an angel the nice well-trained golden son who buys his mom a home they didn't say he bought a home for his mom no why say he bought a home for his mother when you can say he splashed millions on a mansion <laughs> like man they didn't stop there they went on to say how he had not even started any premier league match at the time they both had not started any premier league match at the time um i don't follow football i don't know much um this story and every detail was given to me by my friend like i said the one in the uk who watches football so he gave me all this information so i just want you guys to know i'm not bringing this from my head okay this reminds me of the movie when they see us because when they see us, the next question is, how do they see us? It's all about how they see us, when they see us. Because just like this young football player, it doesn't matter what you do. They're going to see you how they want to see you, how they choose to see you. And then there are people that blame me what happened to him because of how he dressed. Because he was wearing a hoodie, baggy clothes and all that. If we're having white people dressed like this and they don't get stopped, then the issue is not the dressing. The issue is the person underneath the clothes. And this comment responded beautifully well. And people talking about how he dressed makes him look like a criminal, but go to Liverpool and Manchester. White teens dress the same and don't get stopped. Some people are going to go in the comment section talking about how, well, we, did, we don't know what happened before um, the police officer stopped him. Like this comment that says, how do any of you know? I, I can't stand people that spell no to no as no like no I, I can't but how do any of you know he didn't do anything and they just caught up with him then 
I really wanted to hear the explanation that the police officers um, said they were going to explain because we did hear the police officer saying that he was going to explain and the lady said that they were waiting for the explanation. I'm just I'm wait for... To explain to you. Thank no you. That whatsoever. Are you alright? Yeah. No, so it's me doesn't search, it's In my Paris. parents to explain. So I, I will explain to you. Yeah, thanks, that's good. We'll wait for the explanation. You know he didn't do anything because the time the police officer was used to say they would explain, they would have used that time to say exactly what he did. If the young man were a suspect, they would have said, oh, he's a suspect. We've been telling him. You're an, you know, you understand how it goes. But they didn't. They said they would explain. My speculation here is they were waiting to see if they would find anything on him so they could use that to like make up a story or make up something that he did or just go with that, you understand? Run with whatever it is they, they would find on him. But they didn't see anything, obviously. So there was no explanation because guess what? He did not do anything. They had no reason to search him. They, they, they don't have any explanation. <laughs> they don't have any explanation. And then after all this, given history, given what's still happening today, some people believe and say black people are the most... No. But we've got the most reason to be.